Hello, hello, and welcome back to Burrows. Uh, so between recordings, right? I, I was just kind of like vibing to this track a bit, right? And I'm like, this sounds a lot like Promise from Silent Hill 2. <laughs> And at first I was like, is this just so, like Promise from Silent Hill 2? And I had to like double check. Uh, this is like, I, cause I couldn't entirely remember the melody. I was just kind of like, I'm getting, you know, it's a, it's close, but like it, or at least maybe, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not the most musically inclined person, you know, <laughs> nearly a decade of like public school concert band experience has given me nothing. Uh, I just can't, I don't know, I don't know shit about that world, I don't know, not my thing, I guess. It's unfortunate, very unfortunate. Maybe I should read books on music theory, what do you think, guys? Anyway, it's just a picture of a subway entrance covered in snow. It actually looks normal by comparison. I suddenly noticed this is the only door out of the uh, three with a doorknob, the other two being flat panels of wood. Instinctively, I reach toward it when Mark grabs my arm from behind. Ow! Don't! You're hurting me! He twists me around to my face, while holding my arm up in an uncomfortable position. I'm sorry. We just can't go in there. Okay, just let me go! He releases me like a, a child dropping a, t a broken toy. I'm sorry, I didn't... Uh... His voice deepens for a moment. This is an unexpected complication. On top of everything else. This is the only notable door we've come across so far. It feels like to a waste to ignore it. He sighs slowly, uh, draping an arm over me. Gray, we're not going through that door. <laughs> he says this smiling. <laughs> You're not going through that door. Understand. But my protests are cut off by a sudden snapping noise to our left. Oh, fuck. He notices. Wait, he moves away from me and crouches down, staring into the darkness. What the fuck was that? Shush. Another snap. Oh. And then another, slightly louder. Something is coming. I look down and see the uh, a string trembling. You were still, uh, setting those down, even after, uh, learning the tricks of the maze. I just, uh, I just, uh, wanted to be thorough. A final snap, and it goes slack, uh, falling pathetically to the ground. Oh, no. We hold our breaths in a, and sit in silence, waiting for whatever it is to show itself. Heavy footsteps. Slow. I hear Mark tighten his grip on the knife, and I pull my feeble weapon out of my breast pocket, preparing for anything. A shadow starts to round the corner as it approaches, its silhouette warped across the uh, cro crooked walls, impossible to make out. It's here! Jesus! Well, look at this friend. Look at this lad! That's kind of neat. It's like a, um, oh, what were those called from Resident Evil 2? Liquors? It reminds me of a liquor. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is that? Run! What a friendly guy. A metallic scream escapes through the oozing mouth as it starts bounding towards us on all fours. A mark grabs my shirt, yanking me around the corner, and we make a blind dash to get away. No matter how fast we run, it always feels like it's right behind us. <laughs> I feel the rush of air from its heavy limbs against my heels and, we, and uh, with each step. Gray, are you still behind me? Y yeah. Even though we're running at the same pace, his long legs are still a yard ahead of me. I'm doing all I can to keep up, ignoring the burning in my calves. We're completely off course now. At this rate, it's going to chase us in circles until we run out of energy. I take a deep breath and push, away, push ahead, getting well past Mark and stopping to check for un unlocked doors. What are you doing? Just go! 
One of these doors has to be open. Uh, they just have to. Damn it. And he turns around and brandishes the knife, uh, shaking, uh, hands shaking. Uh, get back. Go on. What? Back? Is this supposed to be back away? Is that what this says? Okay. So? Huh? You can talk? Not into. Uh, not intimidated. Uh, not intimidated. It raises a giant claw and uh, brings it down at Mark, who backs away just in time. Christ! <laughs> Take this! He slashes at the creature. Uh, the knife uh, carves into its husk. A sticky black tar splatters across the floor. That, that didn't feel right. I got distracted. I need to keep... Huh? Hick? Okay. I hear a uh, thump beside me. Mark? I'm okay. Uh, it was just a love tap. It turns its eyeless face my way, and I frantically keep trying knobs one by one. Uh, come on! We should keep moving. Oh, I can't take another blow like that. One last door at the end of the hall. I can finally make out light coming from underneath. There! I grab his hand and pull him towards it, the monster in hot pursuit. Uh, Gray! A time stomps as I grab the doorknob and I pray to every named god I can think of. It opens. Outward. Okay. Shit! I twist my body around, swinging Mark behind the door uh, just as uh, giant limbs uh, strike the ground. Uh, he winces as his arm get, uh, being bent back, and I hold him close as I pull the door shut from the inside. I, uh, I breathe a sigh of relief. We're safe. Wait, oh, why didn't I hear it hear click? Gray! I look down and I see a black claw and as long as a knife uh, blocking the door. Damn it, it just... Fucking... Close! Okay. Doing the things. I see, I see. Oh. Ooh, what fun perspective for a background. <laughs> I love that. Uh, it slinks back, oh, whimpering in pain. Half of its uh, pinky claw breaks off as the door finally closes. Uh, Mark quickly shuts it, uh, locks it shut. Jesus Christ! Okay, so we're not alone. Now what? Hell if I know. I slump down back against the door. My heart uh, feels like it could jump out of my chest. That primal feeling of being chased by a predator. I haven't felt like that since I first met Virgil. Are you alright? More or less. It felt like getting tackled by a rugby player. That's oddly specific, but I nod. So, uh, where are we, anyway? Oh. Okay. What a lot of, oh. A lot of, a lot of backgrounds this build. I'm not, um... Uh... Or I guess in this, uh, this chapter? This thing? Episode? Issue? I don't know what to call these. It's whatever. It's only now that I notice the, uh, garnish... Garish? Garish green and pink stripes wallpaper appealing and rotting away like everything else in this world. <laughs> Picture frames line the walls, uh, scratching and covered in layers of ancient dust. I can hardly make out the faces behind the class. A bowl of candy sits on the front table, fused into a giant block of sugar and wax paper. Uh, the uh, buzzing of flies lets me know that it's no longer fit for consumption. I can't put my finger on it, but this place feels familiar. Some place you've been here, uh, been before, maybe? He doesn't strike me as the type to uh, drop by the neighbors for coffee and tea, and coffee and cake, coffee and cake. Maybe. It's hard to recognize anything the way it is now. He walks over to one of the photos and gently dusts it off. Oh, could it be? Huh? He cocks his head in confusion. It's a long shot given how damaged the photo is, but uh, they sort of look like the uh, Turners. I shrug and scratch his chin. Wait, and he scratches his chin, not I scratch his He scratches his own chin. That would be weird if I walked over and started just scratching his chin. That'd be weird. Uh, carefully examining the other photos. Oh, uh, there was this uh, a cute older couple. Uh, you could tell they really cared about each other. Well, 
Well, let's just say they weren't shy about showing their affection in public. <laughs> Sounds harmless enough. He sticks his tongue out in disgust. Says you. Uh, nobody wants to uh, uh, watch some old farts make out. I'm, uh, I'm down for anything at least once, so... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I came over a few times to be nice, but everything always felt off. Almost like they were doing it on purpose, putting on a show to try to get me involved in their relationship. Uh, okay, uh, that I can relate to. Being interested in both men and women has landed me in some less than savory situations with couples, but that's a story for another day. Still, uh, why would this be the only door that was opened? You mean besides the- Enough! Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Now is not a good time. Okay. We'll keep looking, just uh... Yeah? Oh, there's like a... That's like a muzzle? In that one portrait, in the back. Hmm. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, there's blood on the, the, the lamp. Okay. He gets off, uh, wait, he gets cut off by a scream of terror coming from another room. Uh, we cover our mouths and back into the corner. Mark gets his knife ready and I pull out my, uh, pity nut, pitiful blade. Shit, what now? I don't know. Oh, that scream sounded normal, at least. They might be a, per a normal person who got trapped. We- Every man for themselves. We have to survive. B but Is that just gonna loop? Okay. I hear the creak of a door, and something, uh, something walks through the house. Their steps make clicking sounds that remind me of Simone's uh, heels. Hello? Did somebody uh, let themselves in? No, no way. W what is? What is that? Sorry, was that um? No, no way. Okay, that's what that says. What is that? Oh, some young pretties wandered into our foyer. And um, what? And emaciated? 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 Okay, hand emerges from around the corner. It's long, brightly colored nails tapping against the uh, a plaster one at a time. Oh, that's a bit spooky. Okay. All right. Goodness, you frightened me. It's been so long since we've had guests. Yes, yes. Another cry of pain in the distance, followed by the jingle of a metal chain. Her long neck twists around, a jaw practically unhinged, unhinging as she loudly screeches at the source of the noise. Harold, we have guests! Damn it! Keep it down! Hello! Uh, hot, I can, what is this name? Hyacinth? Hyacinth? Yes. It's uh, been a while. Mark? Her head snaps back into place, a mouth uh, curling into a gummy smile. Yes, is that Marcus? It's been ages. Please, come, come. She beckons us to follow with her uh, plastic claws. I'll make some tea for us. And your little friend, we simply must catch up. I blink and she's out of sight. I let out a breath I'd been uh, holding in, punch mark in the shoulder. What the hell was that? Gray, th that was the wife. What? He removes one of the uh, picture frames and turns it uh, so I can see. Uh, that's uh, Deborah, uh, Deborah Turner. Harold Turner is standing next to her, look. Let's go check the thingy thing. Is it a thing? Portrait. Oh. Okay. I see. I see. Well, don't they look normal? She looks completely normal in this picture. Granted, it's dated 20 years before now. So. He nods. The scream gets louder. 
Oh, that's Harold? Help! Somebody, please! Honey, why are you doing this? Fuck this! I go to try the front door, and Mark places a hand on mine. Shush, listen! But... A snarl from the other side of the door interrupts my protest, and I swiftly uh, pull my hand back. It's still out there, waiting. Why? I could, it could tear this door apart. He shrugs, uh, tapping his glasses. This is a game, remember? Maybe it has rules to follow as well. Huh. I'm starting to wish Virgil had at least given me a manual before we started playing. Yo, facts, though. This feels more like a kid who changes their rules every time they start losing. I hear the uh, sink start running, uh, the sounds of everyday domestic life mixed with Harold's pain's uh, screams, and I feel like I'm going to, uh, to lose it. Uh, Mark takes my uh, shaking hand in his, and we interlock fingers. Be strong. I'll keep her uh, busy with conversation. You look for an exit. Uh, okay. Don't answer if she tries talking to you. I'll do all the talking. Right. He gives me a final squeeze right as the uh, kitchen timer goes off. Oh, boys. It's tea time. Not coming, ma'am. We nod and uh, walk further into the house. The foyer is the only seemingly intact room. Everything else is in a complete state of decay, uh, with the uh, living room wallpaper peeling all the way down to the floor. I step around broken glass and over... Yeah, and overflowing uh, bags of trash. Roaches are crawling out of almost every piece of furniture, and I feel my fur stand on end. W would it be bad if I said the bugs scare me more than the any anything else? You'll live. Don't cause a scene. Okay. I nod, trying to uh, gulp down my nervous energy. She emerges from the kitchen, a tarnished tray holding a surprisingly clean uh, tea set in her hands. A soup's on. Now lovely. Come, let's sit. Hey, I fake a smile and sit on the scratchy couch, holding my tail so it doesn't fall between the cushions and get eaten by uh, by critters. As she sets the tray down, I see a foul black liquid filling uh, each uh, steaming uh, cup and gag. <laughs> Mark elbows me, and I put my uh, game face back on. Th thank you. I hope uh, Darjeeling is okay. It was Harold's favorite. Was. Mark elbows me again, and I clamp my mouth shut. N no, I, I mean, is Harold's favorite. Silly me. We each take a cup. I dare not sip. Uh, there's a, a single glass uh, a glass bowl of sugar cookies set down in front of us, uh, teeming with ants. Okay. Please, make yourself at home. Oh, uh, we just ate, but thank you. I rub my stomach and nod, pretending to be full. Oh, how have you been, dearie? Still single? He fakes, uh, bringing the key to his lips, sighs in satisfaction. Yes, though I don't mind. Work's been keeping me busy. Uh, he bumps my foot uh, with this, and I start uh, scanning our surroundings for exit routes as they make small talk. I'm trying to focus on anything but the bugs, I notice a couple of things. I'm trying to focus on anything. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, on a couple of things. An open door past the kitchen with a blue light coming from it, and beyond that, a small square door on the uh, far wall. I doubt an apartment would would have a need for such a thing, so it could be something else. Uh, I can't think. I'm too on edge. But still, living in that big apartment all by yourself must be so lonesome. If I didn't have my dear Harold, why? I'm not sure what I'd do with myself. <sighs> Where is the old chap? Another scream for help. It's coming from the blue room. Keep it down, or God help me, Al. She takes a deep breath and recomposes herself. 
Sorry. He's a bit tied up at the moment. Focus, damn it. It's too oddly placed to be in the uh, cap to be a cabinet or closet, and we're on a, a middle floor that doesn't connect to the basement, or that must mean a laundry chute. Oh. I cover my mouth. She's eyeing me. Uh, chew. Sorry. Allergies. Mark looks unamused. Oh, who is the mysterious little possum anyway? Mark jumps in front of me, putting her attention back on him. Well, uh, he's a bit of a drifter. <laughs> I'm letting him stay with me until he uh, can get back on his feet. Oh my, you always did love helping the needy, didn't you? Why past tense again? <laughs> what did happen to that brother of yours anyway? I think his name was... A gut-wrenching uh, scream fills the tiny apartment. Oh, that does it! She slams her cup down and scurries to the kitchen, almost um, running on all fours like a feral beast. Gets? Wait, uh, gets a lippy with me? No good bastard. Interrupts my tea party. Embarrass me in front of my guests. She turns her back to us and starts rifling through some drawers in the kitchen. I tug on Mark's uh, arm and he leans to listen. I think we can get down that chute back there. It probably connects to a room below this one. He squints his uh, he squints and sees past um, Turner's uh, bony back. No way we'd fit in there. What if we get stuck? I don't know, but it's better than sticking around here. Aha! Uh -huh. She pulls out a giant rusty carving knife out of the uh, silverware drawer, uh, grunting in satisfaction. Please! I warned you, dear. A smile spreads across her face, splitting the sides of her mouth until they start bleeding. Ow! <laughs> Be a moment, gentlemen. With a shriek, she charges out of the uh, kitchen towards the bedroom. Hair, uh, honey? Oh, uh, honey! No, no! Please! Well, there, there, there goes they, I guess. Uh, Mark shakes, the, uh, shakes me. It's now or never. Come on! I nod, unable to take my eyes off that door. Alright. I'll end the part here, everyone, so I'll, uh, I'll see you guys around.